GA leads you into gardens and it also leads you into gaudy. A lot of gardens are very gaudy, tropical gardens are gaudy, I love them for it, I think they're magnificent with all the colours they use. But there is a place for the more subtle colours. This is a little bushland area in Sydney. Those white things are called flannel flowers. Normally you'd get them from a specialist native plant nursery, but I guess you can go online and see where you can buy them, flannel flowers. But I like the rocks. We've got silver lichens. Most of these things are lichens, which is when an alga and a fungus get together and they make this composite organism. By the way, if you think that's weird, we're one of them. Most of the cells that are in our body are not human cells at all, so it's normal that organisms share things. But anyway, there's your flannel flowers. They work so beautifully with the greys and the silvers and the light greens and all of those other shades. In the back there is the mountain devil. In years gone by, I'm not sure if it still happens, if you went to the Blue Mountains in Sydney, they made, with, with little pipe cleaners, people don't have pipes much anymore, um, and they made little devils out of them with the head of the fruit that this thing produces. That looks like the face of a devil. I don't know why they still do that, but that's the mountain devil. These are flannel flowers. Think about it. Sometimes when you're doing your garden, maybe just one area or whatever, some subtle colours. Look at the magnificent way that this white, and it's not quite white, there's a hint of green in it, but it go, look at how it goes with the silvery green of the leaves. There's some subtle and beautiful things that you can have growing in your garden.